Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today we're going to be taking a look at yet again another MacBook um, the unibody ones from 2010 now if you haven't seen my last video on um, the last MacBook I got, which is also a 2010 model um, links will be in the description for that um, now what happened was there was a few problems with it um, one being the trackpad wouldn't click uh, it was missing the bottom case, uh, the bottom rubber piece on the bottom, and um, it also only had 2 gigs of RAM. I ended up finding a 2 gig stick, which uh, bumped it up to 3 gigs of RAM, but I really wanted at least 4. So we're going to be taking a look at this. Now, Stupid Australia Post put this out in the rain. Um, it is a war damaged MacBook anyway, but um, let's hope this bag is waterproof. It looks pretty watertight. But we're going to be seeing if there's any water in here as well because it's the middle of winter and they went ahead and they put it on um, the veranda post sort of thing rather than there's a little table out there. They could have put that on that which would have completely been fine. They usually put stuff there but they didn't for some odd reason. So taking a look here, we're going to open this up. Doesn't come with a charger, which kind of sucks, but whatever. So already I can see that the bottom case will be used. Now from one of the photos it was a little peeling away, but it doesn't seem to be like that anymore. So as you can see, that's what the rubber base from the bottom feels like. You can't feel it. Okay. okay, let's go ahead and open this up. So there you go. As you can see, the keyboard is not a standard English keyboard. It's also very yellow. Oh, okay. Alright. This isn't the Taiwanese keyboard. This just has little stickers on the top. These are actually stickers. So I should be able to peel this off. Hi. Right. Here's what you see. Some clear bit of stuff. I'll rip all those off now, it's really sticky. Um, but apparently this keyboard doesn't work anyway. I don't even know if the computer works. Um, taking another look at it, it's quite dirty. The screen doesn't look cracked or anything. Um, oh, the trackpad clicks. My trackpad does not do that. That's already exciting me. Now before I go ahead and turn this on, I just want to open it up and make sure there's no water in it. Or whatever he spilt in it, or... I'm not really sure. There's a rattling noise coming from inside. That doesn't sound good, but we're going to take a look at that. Let me zoom you out. Okay. Now there is no hard drive or battery in this. Which makes it actually a little bit easier because the battery is a bit of a pain. Um, so I don't know if this laptop has a fried logic board or anything like that, but as long as the trackpad works, the bottom case is in good shape, which it is, the RAM works, I'm happy with that. So these screws come in, I forget that. Um, my MacBook is right beside me over here, my, my uh, other one, <laughs> one of my other MacBooks. Sure, that's the audio still recording. Recording this on an iPhone 3GS, so I don't know how good the audio quality will be, but I cannot be the recording all the audio again. Or I'll just listen to it while I'm recording. Alright, so you can see that. Awesome. Then pull this up. There's little clips on the side. There we go. Let's have a look what's in here. There we go, here's inside the MacBook. As you can see here, there's the data cable for the hard drive, the RAM, and the battery goes here. 
take a look at this RAM here. Apparently this is 4 gigs and I hope it is. Oh, OWC right here. 2 gigabytes, so this is 4 gigs of RAM. Let's have a look, make sure it is the right uh, specifications. It's OWC, so it should work for Mac. Um, and it doesn't look appear to be wet or anything underneath there. So I reckon we're going to power this up. See if it posts, see if it does anything. So I'm going to put one of the RAM sticks back in here. Only 2 gigs because I uh, can't put the other one back in. Head and turn that over. So that clanging noise, which is that. It's all good. Now, as there is no hard drive in this, it's not going to boot up into an operating system. If that's if it boots. So we're going to open this up. I'm going to go ahead and plug it in. So I have my trusty MagSafe right here. Plug that in. There we go. Alright, plugged it in. Oh, we've got a green light. It's a bit promising. Three, two, one. I can hear the fans. No optical drive noise, though. That doesn't sound healthy. This thing boots. Okay, well, it turns on. That optical drive sounds like there's a DVD stuck in it. And... Does it show the Apple logo? It's probably searching for a boot device, which is not going to be able to find, because there's not one in it. But let's see if it does anything. The screen is very dirty. Yep, there we go, flashing uh, folder there. It can't find a boot device. Got a crack. I don't know, just a bit of hair. Alright, so let's uh, begin trying to repair this. Now, I think the keyboard doesn't work. So what I'm going to try and do is plug in my uh, El Capitan install, and I'm just going to go ahead and open up a terminal or some other thing that will let me type uh, something in and just see exactly what's wrong with the keyboard or I could put a hard drive in it but I don't actually have a a hard drive that will that will work um, so I'll be right back go ahead and plug in this USB here this has an install of our Capitan on it and because there's no hard drive we're not going to be able to install it but what we are going to be able to do is launch into the assistant uh, the setup thing so let's go ahead and turn this on go down and hold down the alt option key Okay, I'm back, and as you can see, I have my other MacBook over here, and one right here. As you can see, it booted up, no problem. Now, we're going to try and... Oh, it's good having a click button. I've got a terminal here. No, my terminal. I'm testing out the keyboard, seeing if the keyboard works. Now, the caps lock key works. Drag this terminal command in here. Okay. Right, I'm getting nothing at all. It just seems to be changing things. Now, I don't know if this keyboard's set up differently or something. Um, quit terminal. System information, let's go ahead and check this out and see if it's a 2010 or 2009 MacBook. I think it's 2010, that's better. Better specs. Well, we can do a comparison, it doesn't matter. Alright, it's a 2.4 gigahertz, which means it is the 2010 model. So, same as my other MacBook over here. It's got two gigs of RAM in it, but I took the other two gigs of RAM out of it. Okay, okay so that, whoa. Now, I'm not sure if that's supposed to jump to the bottom, like that, is it? Um, can you work so, Ah, okay. I'll try and type it in the password. Now, I won't be able to tell if I'm typing it in. Okay, right, show password. Then, to exactly 64 hexadecimal characters. What? My password's in that thing. H, nothing. Okay, right, we'll start at the top of here. This thing, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. Plus or minus keys, Q, W, E, R, T, Y. Let's keep going through these until I get something. Okay, I get absolutely nothing from the keyboard. Okay, so the keyboard doesn't work. 
at all. The caps lock lights up, but the input of the keyboard doesn't work. Oh, we got some keys. Can we get these? Sometimes with more damaged keyboards, you don't actually push the actual letter. Okay, so it's like the shift key is broken or something because if I push this way, it highlights them all. Let's have a look over here. I'm typing this up. Yeah. I'm pushing the option and shift key. Shut down. That will turn the computer off, obviously. And we can get started on the repair. Okay. Okay, power. So we're going to take the trackpad out and put it in my other MacBook. Seeing that that fix, fixes the issue, as my other MacBook has a slightly damaged top case, which I'll show you now. There's a chip in the trackpad, the trackpad doesn't click right. So if I it's sort of hard to click. It does work if you push it hard enough, but no one here like that. That's, that's just perfect. Three gigs of RAM right there, 2010. Okay, 10. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and shut this down. Obviously. Click prepare. So we get this bottom case off. Okay, here we are, and I have not been in this for about a month or so. It's really dusty in here, and I'm assuming that is because there's a bunch of holes in it, which doesn't help. This is a brand new Apple battery, which I installed, um, and I have to take that out now, to access the trackpad, which I'm going to be replacing. It's also really dusty, but I did replace it with Phillips head screws, so I can get them out. Could also because it's a giant hole in the computer. Okay. Right. We're going to need to unscrew the trackpad. So I might as well just do it like that. By removing these two screws. This one. These are very tiny screws. Very, very, very tiny screws. Should be able to open this. Here we go. One MacBook trackpad that does not clip. Got it! Perfect. Go ahead and connect this up. Put the power up to the computer and see if my trackpad works. We hope it does. I hope it does. to start. Now that sort of business that this one does. I don't even know if there's a driver it's disc in there or something. Couldn't tell you. 
Does the trackpad work? That's all I care about. Well, that's all we did, so. So, mouse works, that's good. Let's see if my computer's just going go. Oh, it clicks. Like it should. That is a first. Now it's got having to inspect anything. I could probably loosen it up just a little bit. I can close that. Okay, so my camera ran out of a uh battery but as you can see here I've gone ahead and installed the 4 gigs of RAM and um, put the bottom rubber piece on and as you can see it's uh, almost completely flush uh, in all of the edges so it looks very very nice compared to just the uh, metal um, and there's the Apple logo and the, the uh, information serial number and all that on the bottom um, go ahead and open this up and uh, go ahead and turn this on um, this has a 240GB SSD, so I will um, let it boot up um, just so you can see how fast it takes to uh, turn on. Now keep in mind this is a 6 year old MacBook and only has uh, SATA 2, so um, if you had a later Mac you'd be able to get even faster boot times, but um, as you can see it barely takes any time at all. I've gone ahead and entered my password and as you can see, um, pretty quick to respond compared to the regular hard drives that uh, came factory in these machines back in 2010. So waiting for this to load, um, we're going to go ahead and go into the About This Mac and as you can see here OS 10 El Capitan, 2.4 GHz Intel Core 2 Duo, we've got an NVIDIA GeForce uh, 320M with 256 MB of VRAM and as you can see the 4 GB has been detected by the uh, computer and there's my SSD just in case you uh, wanted to see it there alright so that's pretty much it guys um, as you can see right here here's just a shot of my MacBook um, it's a bit of a shame that the uh, expanded battery did chip the uh, uh, unibody case but as you can see there's the bottom there looking really nice a um, little bit uh, worse for wear but it does the job so thanks guys for watching uh, if you like this video give it a thumbs up um, and also subscribe. So I'll catch you guys next time in another one of my great videos.